Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Dave with the Bass Channel and you're looking at another episode of Shorties. This is episode three and we've got yet another Gibson. That's two Gibsons in a row. This one's a little unusual because it's a Thunderbird, but it's a short scale. Let's get into it. Now, I'm going to let the sounds speak for themselves mostly, but just want to preface it with, I don't think it sounds identical to a full-scale T-Bird, but hey, I think it's got a cool sound of its own. Today, we're running it into an orange Terror Bass head, which is plugged into a Dark Glass 112 cab, and we're blending the direct signal with the RE20 microphone. So this is my Gibson Thunderbird short scale. It's a 2011 base and it's a bit rare. They only made 400 of these all in one color, all in one year. And um, I've owned it twice now. When I first bought it, the previous owner told me that this base belonged to one of the bass players in Vancouver punk band SNFU. Uh, although I don't know which bass player, they've had a few over the years but it has, uh, it has led a pretty punk rock life. It's got scratches and nicks and dings, and it's definitely a player's bass, um, and I really dig playing it. Why have I owned this bass twice? Well, the first time I bought it, it uh, just kind of came up on my radar right when I started getting into the whole short scale moment that I've been having for a couple of years. And I thought, hey, I like T-Birds. I like short scales. This is a really unique piece. I gotta have it. So I owned it for, um, I don't know, something like six months. And then I just realized I wasn't getting what I thought I wanted out of it. Um, I had put some tape wound strings on it to try to get a completely different sound from all of my other basses, and I just couldn't quite gel with the ergonomics, and there's something about it, not sure what it was. So I went ahead and sold it to a guy on talk bass. And then maybe a year later, um, I just thought about buying another one, and the guy I sold it to on talk bass actually messaged me and, uh, and said, hey, you know, if you're thinking about buying another one of these, I'm not playing so much anymore, so I could sell it back to you. And lo and behold, um, when I moved out here to the desert, he was right down in Sedona, Arizona, and I bought it back from him. So that's why I have it today. So let's get into the specs on this thing. It's a 2011. They only made 400 of them and they're all satin black. Uh, it's got a mahogany body. It's got a mahogany neck. It's got a rosewood fretboard. And being basically the Thunderbird studio level of appointments is why it's got the satin finish, the dot inlays, and it's a set neck instead of a neck through. 
Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the pickups are the ceramic magnet humbuckers that you've seen in Thunderbirds for the last uh, couple of decades. It's got volume, volume tone, and it's got everybody's favorite three-point Gibson bridge. Little bit strange, the jack is on the front uh, instead of on the side, and the three knobs are not quite in a straight line. Thanks for joining us again for another foray into short scale basses with yet another Gibson this time. And uh, hey, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. This is Dave signing off from the Bass Channel.